so uh, yeah uh, first thing you know like uh, uh, thank you very much uh, especially mindfire you know to organize this event and uh, because when you say that you have to organize such kind of an event you have to fund the flight tickets you have to fund the hotels you have to fund your tea everything right so it, it involves definitely finance so uh, let's give a big clap to mindfire first you know, uh, thank you very much thanks, thanks a lot right and uh, definitely to Chinmay sir, who has taken all the effort to you know put this. So, so quickly, you know, um, uh, so that is my slide here. Uh, so my name is Shiv, and uh, I am famous for bad reasons actually. So, uh, uh, so how many of you guys? So just quickly, you know, just to take a quick, uh, you know, a poll. So how many of you guys are Java here? Let's just you know like, okay. So it must be twenty percent, you know. How many of you guys are C sharp? Okay. Chalo, mein baj gaya hai, you know? <laughs> and how much of you guys are JavaScript? JavaScript, I think it is cross-cutting, right? So Shisha wise guys will use JavaScript and Java guys will also use JavaScript. And how many are others? PHP? Bhai, jada hai. Like, okay. How many are PHP C sharp? I say just. Okay. Oh, that means <laughs> oh, there are something. Okay. So <laughs> okay. So um, so that's good. Uh, so quickly, you know, like as uh, they have already given my introduction, I will uh, not go into that too much now, you know. Uh, uh, so, how many of you guys have used design patterns in your project? Just, I know that you have used, everybody has used it, right? Okay. So, can anyone tell me from this side one design pattern which you have used? Singleton, chhodke kuch bhi. Singleton nahi. In any interview you go, can singleton pattern sir? Other than that, yeah, factory pattern, good. I'm thoda, yeah, level higher, okay. Yeah. And what else? <laughs> Don't say singleton pattern. <laughs> and which other pattern? M okay, so MVC is an architecture pattern. Just quickly, you know, MVC is an architecture pattern. There is something called as a design pattern. Chalo, thoda sway ho topic se. There is something called as a design pattern. There is something called as an architecture pattern. And there is something called as an architecture style. There are three things, you know. So design pattern, chalo, we also have some, you know, prizes here. So anyone here who can tell me the differences between all of these three? Design pattern, like factory is a design pattern, singleton is a design pattern, MVC is an architecture pattern, MVP is an architecture pattern, rest is an architecture style. Jo correspond ka members hai, they cannot answer this question, okay? So you know, rest is an architecture style, service oriented is an architecture style. Tell me. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, like design patterns, uh, as we talked about a singleton or a factory design pattern or something, oh. uh, that is based on the code. What we write, uh, I mean, the approach we uh, take to uh, solve, uh, solve this, uh, I mean, uh, problem. And then uh, the architecture, architectural uh, uh, patterns are uh, driven by blocks. And architectural styles uh, are basically, uh, uh, we can say. So I'll just, uh, you're right. Actually, he's perfectly right. So see. What happens is like, you know, in design pattern, you actually know some source code. Like if you are creating a singleton pattern, you have to write a static keyword. Uh, if you say you want to make a factory pattern, you have to do this, you can sit down, you know, thank you very much for that. While in an architecture pattern, you just know the block diagrams. So you have a model, you have a view, you have a controller. Now the ASP.NET guy creates a controller in a different way. Must be the Java guys, they create a controller in a different way. So nobody knows how that controller, how that model is created, right? In architectural style, you know, we just have one liner saying that, Okay, REST is an architectural style, you know, where you follow HTTP, must be. Okay, or you say service oriented is a, just a one liner, a principle, yeah, that must be the right word to use. It's just one principle and then that principle, how it is implemented is, depends on technology, right? So remember all of this, in, in India what happens now, sub kuch design pattern hai. So like if you say factory is a design pattern and factory is an architecture pattern bhi. And Indians understand, huh? Samaj jata you know? So, so, so quickly, so I can see like, uh, so I know that singleton pattern and when I've heard one more factory, okay. Or kaun sa Repository, okay, repository and factory, okay. And what else? Now you have, I, I can tell you like you have used some of the design patterns you don't know. Today that's what I'm going to iterate through, right. So a lot of people, they think that they're using singleton, they are only using uh, factory or you know, they are only using some repository pattern and all that, right. Uh, so, I will not go into design pattern. I am sure that you guys know design pattern, what it is as a definition. It is a time tested solution. For example, if, if you see personally also yourself, let us say you start as a fresher in one company and somebody teaches you a three layer architecture. So, what you do, you get convinced that project is successful, let us say, you know, then you get convinced. Then when you go like to a next company, you use the same three layer architecture because it is time tested. 
और बाद में दस साल के बाद भी वही थ्री लेयर चलता है वट एवर इट इज सो मीन्स वंस यू गेट कॉन्फिडेंस ऑन दैट टेस्टेड सोल्यूशन राइट यू कीप यूजिंग इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल Uh, that day, like with me, it happens. Like you say, okay, you create a login, user table, role table, ye table, o table, done. It's there in the mind, right? Because it is time tested, you know. So that's what is the design pattern. But it is in terms of architecture, not in terms of anything else, right? Uh, so here it is, you know. So half, so a uh, lot of people ask that how to learn design pattern. Half of the guys, like half of the things you know, you're already doing it. Today I will put a name around it. So when you see my source code, you will say, no, look, I have done it. So today I will just put the name, saying that this is. This pattern and this is this pattern, right? So you will come to know that you have done more than factory pattern, you have done more than singleton pattern. Okay. The the other thing which is very important before I start uh, design patterns, the six things here, that you know design pattern should be natural. It should not be like uh, uh, how do you say? It should not be artificial. For example, I am fat. I know I am fat, right? Yeah, I say karunga, then how time karunga, right? So it should be natural. Like it should not be like you know because there is somebody a gora sitting. तो उसके सामने थोड़ा फैक्ट्री पैटर्न ये पैटर्न वो पैटर्न हो गया ले जाओ नॉट हैपन इफ दैट हैपन्स दिस इज वन स्मॉल कार्टून यू नो गिवन बाय माय फ्रेंड तो वो क्या करता है दैट यू कॉल इट अर्न वाइल यू लर्न मतलब क्या करना है यार फैक्ट्री पैटर्न सीखना है ओके लेट इस डू इट यू नो सो रिमेम्बर इफ द डिजाइन पैटर्न इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड नेचुरली इन योर प्रोजेक्ट यू विल एन्जॉय इट इफ हाउ हाउ डू यू नो दैट दैट डिजाइन पैटर्न इज प्रॉपर इट इज हाउ इट इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड प्रॉपरली वंस यू स्टार्ट कोडिंग दैट यू फील इट नहीं दिस इज राइट and then sometimes you feel kya yaar is one layer fir dusra layer fir tisra layer mein code hai right then it is something is wrong something is horribly gone wrong you are just trying to artificially do things and it is not right so the 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 the, uh, the one of the most important thing about design pattern it should be natural okay if it is not naturally implemented there is something horribly wrong okay uh, that's a sign that's one thing which i have learnt right so uh, oh leave this part okay so i'll go here to my source code now so let me start uh, with the first pattern here so what i've done i have visual studio here i know that there are java guys but like you know the same class the same interface you won't find any difference you know because i have to take one platform so i've taken c sharp right so you would you would understand almost all of the code right you guys you are able to see the code right okay okay so let me start with the first pattern you know that is aggregate root anyone here who has done aggregate root ek bar main bataunga to fir bolenge ha ye aggregate root hai okay so uh, if you look at what i have done is uh, in the same code you know i have just pasted uh, the 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 what do you call the definitions as well so you can see here um, that is the definition of the aggregate root pattern uh, it says that uh, everything has to go via a single root for example i don't know if you have done like line and line items order order and order line items so you create order class and then you create a line items inside it right and then any modification of the line items goes via that root i'm sure you have done it right for example here it is <coughs> here's a simple example once i show you the example you will understand it so uh this is a simple solution explorer here now uh here is the aggregate root so think about it you have a customer class and a customer class has lot of addresses objects inside it so one customer has multiple addresses is the source code clear i'm not sure okay yeah so now let us say uh, you know and also in this i have created an address type and what i want to do is that okay this customer cannot have a uh, different type of addresses for example in this type i will say okay h for home address and then i have o for office address now i cannot add a multiple office address to this okay if you look at this structure now i made it public now if you see here i start using this you can see i have created a customer class and let us say i start typing here so this is a customer class i start adding addresses to it okay address dot add and i say i want to add a new address okay so uh, people who are in java people who are in php just try to grasp it i'm sure that you know it's all about classes and architecture here so here you know i add address of type o let's say this is office address okay now again like i go and i add an address of office of type o this should not be allowed you cannot add multiple addresses of type o so what will you do yes did we get the problem now if you see here if you if you look at this this thing here that addresses collection is naked means it is directly exposed out right as a list so anybody can go and add anything out there are we following everyone this has to be actually private and there ha it has to go through that root of 
customer. So this is that's aggregate route. So what you do out here is, I'm sure you have done it, right? You make this as private. So you say this is a private. And then you create an encapsulated method around it. So you say, okay, here it is. I will give you a method here called as add. So in this, I'll go and I'll add an address ADD. And before I add this, I will do a loop here. So I'll say that uh, address a in uh, underscore addresses. So if I find if I get a of type is equal to ADD of type, right, I will throw exception. Now people who are in Java, people who are in PHP, not allowed, right? And if it is all okay, I'll just say underscore addresses dot add. For each, yeah, for each, okay? Now you can see here, uh, if, you, if you see what is, what is really happening is, that, that parent class is the single route through which all the modification of the address object is happening. Okay, how many of you guys have done this in your project? Now come how to per, right? Oh. Okay, okay, so getting it. So basically here now that addresses is not naked. You know, it is like getting added and then you do all the validation. But here is what is a, what kind of problem do you see here? If let us say I implement this this architecture, right? What is the other uh, drawback of it? Anyone? That is required because uh, that's a logic, right? I need to check. I need to check if it is existing. Okay, I can go and write some better logic out there. I can sort it, right? But the problem here is when you use too much aggregate root in a project, your, your, the main class becomes very complicated because everything he has to handle now, right? He has to take all the requests and he has to then pass it on and then he has to do everything, right? So overall what happens is in an aggregate root kind of architecture, the whole, the main class becomes too complicated and that is something you need to take care. So you have to be very sure that if you want to use aggregate root or not. Did we get guys? Any questions here on aggregate root? So in aggregate root, you know, that's what the definition is. If you go online also to search, I put it in the comments here. In aggregate root, what happens is uh, that the objects are treated as a single unit and they go via a root. Okay. Any questions on this aggregate root? I'm very surprised that only two or three hands on aggregate root. It's like you should have used in this project a lot, like, like order order items, customer addresses, addresses my phones, it's always aggregate root, okay? Yeah, any questions, any queries? Okay, so let me go to the next one here. There is something called as an iterator pattern. So iterator pattern, how many of you guys have used iterator pattern? This is very important, guys. This session, I could have made an Angular session. This session, I could have made a session of hardcore developers. Already I have taken an Angular session, right? But this design pattern is all in your mind, that how you think, how you write good code, right? It makes you a better programmer. So, yeah, iterator pattern, anyone? Iterator pattern is not for each. Abhi bolta, like a lot of people say iterator pattern is for each, right? So here it is, if you see here, right? Chalo, I'll talk about it. So iterator pattern, it says, if you look at the definition, it says it provides a way to access the element in an aggregate object. So now look at this. Now let's go to this aggregate root here, okay? And um, over here, uh, what is this? What is this expected? Why <laughs> this? People are catching. Thank you. Sub jinda hai Semicolon like. Okay. So now here, now think about it. Okay, this is good. So you are following aggregate root and uh, it is adding through a central. But I want this addresses collection to be binded with a grid. Means you cannot make it private. I want it to be exposed, but I don't want to expose the add method. Are we getting? Now what is happening is okay. You you have done everything. You know sub. Good, like you are checking. But now there is a requirement which says, okay, which addresses are added, I want to bind to a list. So that means this has to be made public. If this has to be made public, I again go and uh, invalidate that, I again do a mistake of making, not creating an aggregate root, right? How, what should I do here? Did we get guys? I want to go and loop. I want to go and loop, bind it to a list box, bind it to a grid. Now how do I balance between aggregate root and also show it outside, also he cannot modify it directly. Create a list, no, means display the list outside. How do you display the list outside? Add a new method and that method will return what? 
if he returns a list, okay, so chalo, well, I'll do this, you know, good. This is how you think design pattern. So like someone said, you know, like a lot of people said, do like this, public list of address, okay? And I'll say get addresses. As someone is saying, like, you know, please expose out a method. And I will say return underscore address. With this, you know, if you see here, the problem is the developers can go and do like this. Never underestimate a developer, huh? So, <laughs> So the, what he will do is, uh, he will go and he will say get addresses dot add. Because your collection is now exposed directly. No, I, I want to get the address collection outside. I don't want to send it as a parameter. Which one? Public, no, even if you make a get, you get the full list object outside, right, by reference. I am sure that even it is Java, it is either PHP, it is, everything is by ref, right? You modify the list, you will modify that addresses. Did we get guys? Like, so you said you want to go via aggregate root because there are some validations, right? So you went via aggregate root. Now there is an imbalance saying that, okay, give me out a collection. Now you are stuck. From one side you will make all the brick, other side the pani bear. Like, what do you do for this? Right, so that's what, you know, like if you look at this iterator pattern, now you know what happens, this is very important. You know, definitely in a project when you work, two, three, ten patterns all go in, in one sense, you know. So here now, when you say it, there is an aggregate root, you will always get an iterator pattern. Iterator pattern is like connected with aggregate root. Okay, so in this case now, uh, like what .NET guys do it, and must be Java guys also have I enumerable, I enumerator, right? So what you do is that you don't expose this as a list, you actually make it as a, I enumerable. In Java, what do you have? Iterator, I think so, I don't know. Okay, now what does this I enumerable do, right? This I enumerable says you can only loop. You cannot go and do an add. So now what happens is, if you see here, if you look at this code here, right? In this code, you will find that now I cannot do add. Can you see that? I can only do a for each loop. And if you want to add address, I have to go via that method, which I have created. So that method I have to go, okay? So this method is only to go and add things. And this method I can, if you see here, there are no methods of add or insert, right? So I can now, I have the only way I can do is by using a, a for each loop here, iterator pattern. Iterator pattern helps you to iterate through a collection uh, in a very safe way. It does not expose out the manipulative methods like add, insert, update and delete. It says you can only loop. Did we get guys? So remember, aggregate roots is always connected with the iterator pattern. Did we understand this? Yes? Any questions here? So you can see now, now this is natural. That's what I'm taking, natural design pattern. You said that you had a requirement, you want to validate the whole object, so you created a aggregate root. Now suddenly you said, okay, you want to expose out the collection, then you start using iterator pattern. Nobody forced you. Now this kind of coding when you have, right, then you feel like, yes, design pattern is natural, okay? Any questions guys on aggregate root and iterator pattern? Did we get this code, everyone? Okay, chalo. See, okay, now one more, the time is a constraint. So I have six patterns. If I'm going nearby the time, I will create, I will complete only four patterns. But even if we do four patterns from this room and if we leave with four patterns in the head, I think this event is successful, okay? At least for me, for this session, okay? So must be, I've said six, but like I'm talking so much, yaha wa ja raho, right? So even like, you know, just I'll get an alert here. If I get an alert, I will not take the next pattern. So any other patterns, we can cover it through the email or something, okay? So let me start with the second pattern here. Uh, the second pattern, which is, uh, again, very interesting here is uh, adapter pattern. So can anyone tell me, if you, if you look at the definition, that is the definition of adapter pattern, it helps to make incompatible classes compatible. What do you understand from that sentence? In design pattern, there is line in aisa. And then that line is in a super English. And then like, like for example, like guys like me, they come from some Hindi medium and Marathi medium, kya hai pata nahi, like you know, aggregate root. When we come to know aggregate root, it's a aggregate root, right? The one of the biggest problem is that these all patterns are made in US and UK. The vocabulary of English, when it comes to here in India, it becomes difficult. So dilute ho jata hai, okay? But what do you understand from that still? What does it say? Function definition, no, it says incompatible classes. There are two classes which are incompatible and you want to make them work together. What is that situation? 
Which one? Casting is for data types. This is at the class level. Casting to apka one data type, oh no, that is not a boss. No, casting, no, no way. Okay, good, yeah. So, yeah, you are, you are like, guys, casting up kither or jare plain like Like it's going somewhere else, okay. So, let me give you an example here. So, what I've done in this project, you know, I've created the small, small classes here and we can start using it. Now, think about in a project, right, you are, you are using a reporting, you have a reporting system, okay. So, you are using that in, let's say, your, you have 100, 200 UIs, everywhere you are using that reporting system. And in that reporting system, you have an export method which exports to PDF or which exports to XLS. Now, as an architect, what do you think, you know, oh, like, so, people, people, you know, somebody can create an Excel report, somebody can create a Word report, somebody can create a PDF report, right? So, as an architect, you think, like, let us create an interface called as I export. So that all the developers, whoever is there, he will say, okay, I want to create an Excel report. He follows the same naming convention, export, export, export. So for example, like uh, I tell some developer that you have to go and create a word. So I'll say, okay, public class, a word report. So he implements I report. Okay. Or somebody goes and says, I want to create, let's say an Excel report. So I say, okay, you also use I report, right? Now with this what happens is you know there is a lot of uniformity in my project and uh, in any of the UI wherever this report is used I don't have to worry means anywhere when I use in my report like I'll just say here I report and I will just point it to Excel report I'll just say still this is export and if I think that I should point towards a word report I, I still think it is export. So, it, you know, there is, a, there is a consistency, you know, across your, uh, you know, things, you know, and everything is good, right? So, as an architect, you say, whatever report we have, we will always point towards I report, right? Now, what happens? Suddenly, you know, uh, there is a PDF to be generated, a PDF report, and you take up a third party. Now, that third party does not have a save method, export method. It has a method called a save. Now, that is a incompatible, right? So, you end up writing a syntax, if third party, then save, if not, then this, right? So, now here we have a situation where you have a third party DLL, which is having a different naming convention and you cannot change it, because normally when you get this DLLs or this external things, right, you have to use as it is, isn't it? So, now think about it, uh, you go, so here is a, let's say, here is an example, I'll say that this is a, let's say I have a third party, third party PDF. Okay. Now, this third party PDF says that no, my naming convention is save. Third party PDF, yeah. Now, you are stuck. Now, think about it. If you have something more, then you just, in, you just increase your if conditions, right? So, what will you do in such kind of condition? Are you getting, this is like, I have written a class here, but you cannot modify the method. You will actually get a jar file or a DLL file. You cannot change that, right? It's, it's there you got from a third party. Now, how will you ensure that still it is always going through I export? What will you do here? It's the both easy. Look, I cannot, this class, I cannot change it because it's a third party. But it's remember that it is a third party class. I cannot change it, right? So, what should I do to still ensure that I always point towards I report? That name only says adapter. When you have a plug, and when you have a socket which is not getting connected, what do you do? You put an adapter in between, right? So that means, you know, we need to have an adapter which will make that both the classes compatible. So my class which is using export and that class which is using save, I need to put an adapter in between, getting an adapter pattern. So what you do here is, well, what do you say like uh, wrapper classes? How many guys have used adapter? Only one adapter pattern? So I'll just show the example here, so must be after the code. So here, uh, so what I'll do is I'll put an adapter here, adapter something, you know, PDF. And this adapter PDF, uh, I can say that it, it implements this I export, sorry, I report, right? And in this, uh, what I will do is I will create an object of, so I'll say here that this is third party PDF, X is equal to new third party PDF and x dot save. Now, if you see here, now, if you look at my UI, in the UI, I, I don't, I will point towards that new 
adapter, whatever it is, and I still I call export. Did we get guys? I've done nothing. I've created a wrapper class. Nothing I've done. So adapter internally is nothing but a simple wrapper class which says that okay, that is a third party. You will just put a wrap around it. But you can see I'm still implementing the same interface I export. Following it, guys. So that is adapter pattern. It helps you to, if you have two incom incompatible classes, it makes them compatible. And especially when you're talking about third party integrations, you will always end up with adapter. Any questions, guys, adapter pattern? So we did adapter pattern, we did iterator, we did aggregate root. Any questions in this? I know it's not coding, but I can't do it. I understand. But see what happens in a project. I can do it. But I can guarantee that a lot of people, what they will do, they will not use adapter pattern, no if like a They say if this, then third party, if this, then not third party was, you know, done. Then there is one code there, 10 code, 100 code, sub UI mein code behind me sub hai. And then you say now change one more, chalo sub jaga change karte, you know, so like, so you know, the point is that in design pattern, it has to click at the right time, you know, it, if it clicks at the right time, you save a lot of things. And a lot of people, what they think, you know, design pattern should be done by seniors. No, I think design pattern should be done by a person who, who is even a one year experience because a senior guy, how much he can control, right? How can he dictate from the top, right? He starts writing some bad code, right? He cannot go to every code and line, kya ki hai karke, right? So I think this design pattern should be learned by everyone. I can understand that at a higher level when you say architecture, etc. I can understand. But I think at the code level, that person should know when to use adapter pattern because a senior cannot dictate this, right? Only a junior can control it because he is coding, he has to deliver, okay? Okay, so that is, so <clears throat> just quickly, you know, just I will put down the notes here so that uh, whenever you feel like, you know. So first is, as I said, like we will cover two, three patterns, well, we'll cover it properly, aggregate root, you go through a, a parent object, right? Iterator pattern, in aggregate root, you loop without exposing that add, update, and delete methods, while in adapter, if you have incompatible classes, you make them compatible. Now look at this, now look at what I've done. I put my one, one, my own one-liners. I did not use Gang of Forka one-liners. Don't attempt that, huh? But the Gang of Forka, I say, I say, you, know, you don't have to, right? You can use your own English and put it in a simple word. And then whenever you want to communicate, communicate in that simple English. Do not try to, I say, I say, factory pattern, I say, not, not needed. You cannot be, at least, <laughs> it's not going to help out, right? So use whatever knowledge you have and uh, English you have and try to make it simple. Okay. Let me know what timing it is, huh? How much time we have? You have? Okay. Uh, this is very interesting. Chalo, I'll take template pattern first. Now I want, I want the audience to talk, huh? Matlab, mahi bolte jaro, thak rao maybe, right? <laughs> That template pattern, now tell me what do you understand from template pattern? What do you understand from this? And if, if anyone tells me what is this, mobile ni check karna hai, Google Google ni check karna hai abhi. Then you will get a USB. Chalo, if anyone tells me what this means, abhi u mat bolna hai, incompatible matlab data type, aise sab nahi hai, like, so samaj ke now. If you answer this, what is this? It's a simple thing. When I show the code, you will understand it. If you answer that, you will get a USB. And what is the second price? What's that? iPhone. Robot, what is that? Yeah. Okay, fine. Whatever it is, yeah. Would you like iPhone to my? Yeah. Yeah, come on, anyone? No, you don't. Those who respond, the people who are subscribed to respond, they cannot answer it. Because like I have a learning tutorial, I know, I teach them. Yes. Uh huh. And uh, yes, you are right. You define a skeleton in the abstract class. And what is about those operations? Uh, and yeah. it is not inheritance. Abhi bolta. So abstract class was not. I see like design pattern cannot be like uh, abstract classes interfaces, right? It has to be a culmination of something. So it is not object oriented. You have to use object oriented programming. Yes, anyone? Guys, please, uh, like you should go and you should at least like one design pattern in a day, at least look at it, right? It will change the way you are programming. 100% it will change it, right? Anyone? Like the USB mail leke jayega. Okay, so here it is. Uh, well, you know, I don't know, Mirpa's net hai ki name must be. Do I have the net apna? 
okay okay this is snooze no way no restart uh, okay fine i am connected so here it is define the skeleton of an okay let me you know one of the things uh, what happens is uh, so uh, you know in in architecture world like in in, in project management or uh, when i see those worlds right the definitions are fixed you cannot say agile is like this agile okay it can have the variations but in architecture world what happens is the way is somebody will say it's a middle layer somebody will say it's a business layer and somebody will say it's a business object and somebody will say you know something so depending on the english lot of thing changes right so what i do is that sometimes if i have to validate myself if i have to say that okay this definition am i thinking right or not i do a google and i just search that three or four answers at least they come together okay so here it is must be that once i show this so if anybody can tell me what is template pattern more चलो वॉट एवर यू आर एल कम्स फर्स्ट टेम्पलेट पैटर्न चलो विकी करते हैं विकी अच्छा है uh, अच्छा उधर भी वही है <laughs> चलो सो नथिंग नथिंग डिफरेंट एनी वन नो ओके सो नाउ वॉट हैपन्स नाउ हियर इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टेम्पलेट पैटर्न आई कैन वाई यार कोई नहीं है नो वन चलो हियर इट इज नाउ इन टेम्पलेट पैटर्न एस एस यू कैन सी हियर इट सेज लेट्स गो वन बाय वन सो इट सेज दैट डिफाइन अ स्केलेटन ऑफ एन अलगोरिथम and defer some steps to the client sub classes now think about it let us say you want to write uh, some kind of a class like this which does etl okay in etl you have you first do extraction then you do transformation and then you do loading right this sequence never changes this algorithm when you say algorithm does not mean maths huh? so this is algorithm here which first extraction loads transformation loads and the loading loads right so what you do over here is you go and you define here so here it is i will say here so this is definitely an abstract class so so if you look at the definition here it says define the skeleton of an algorithm yes so there it is okay so here i'll say this is an etl where i will say that this is first extract i must be i can make it abstract okay so this is an extract method okay uh this is an uh what is that transform method right and uh, this is an load method now what i'll do is i'll define one method this method nobody can override it i'll say this is execute and in this i will say like first the extraction loads then the transformation loads then the loading happens now so that is the first thing so now here what i've done is i've defined that this sequence nobody can change this algorithm nobody can change it is always like this for example people who have done dot net your page life cycle your page life cycle like init load event yes you can go and modify that load event if you want okay like uh, people who are uh, doing those http handlers like when you go through the uh, handlers right the sequence is fixed you cannot change the sequence okay so here you can see now the sequence is same but then i will i will tell to my child classes i will say that okay my child class i'll say public class i'll say let us say excel to word okay so in this what i'll do is i only have the opportunity to override or i'll say implement okay so i'll say your implement uh, yeah so now you can see here uh, that's what the second thing is uh, deferring some steps to the client sub classes can you see that so what happened i have a sequence defined in my abstract class whose sequence is fixed extraction transformation loading but the individual steps that how the extraction can be and how the transformation can be can be defined by the the child classes did we get guys see now this is now look at this the first time when you read it right you don't understand it you think it kuch to bahut hi fi hai piche right but once you understand you look at the code you you understand oh this is what it is but now the biggest challenge is that when you see this problem next time in your so in in your application right it should click if it does not click you know the pattern you know there is a problem but that sixth sense should say now this should fit here naturally that is very difficult part that is what makes a person a experienced developer are we getting guys like i taught you iterator pattern okay so now it should click at the right time if it does not click then it's useless okay any questions here on this ma'am let me know the timing sir it's 15 minutes okay okay i'll not because i want that even if i cover three four patterns i want it to go th go through it properly rather than covering extra more patterns let me see the other one which i have uh, what i'll do is i will skip 
factory pattern. I will skip factory pattern, okay? And people who want to know about factory pattern, you email me, I'll tell you in detail, okay? Because in that 15 minutes, I can take one pattern and then we can go with a discussion or something, right? But here's the interesting pattern, bridge pattern. What can you understand from that line? Again, I will give you a USB, not iPhone, USB. <laughs> what, this is bridge pattern. Anyone? Are you to USB? What do you understand from that? Google Google nahi dekhega, wo piche khade apne sab log. They will catch you. In India, you know, we have bulk of programmers. Huh? College ke college ke baad like wow, one lakh students, usme se 50,000 programmers. But then the quality of programming is going down day by day. You know, like we are just getting into manpower supplement. I don't know how do I name that. I think it's high time that we improve our quality. Like see what happens when you talk with some other person who is in US, right? They understand all this. They know all this. They, they know this is an iterator pattern. One is that English helps them, right? But another is like, you know, when they look at us, right? Aisa karna hai, but some log apna apna style se karke de dete usko. And then they say like quality is down and all that, right? Yes, anyone? Seniors, koi bhi. Junior log bala chala apna nahi hai, senior log ka kaam. <laughs> okay, so here it is. What do you mean by abstraction and implementation? Abhi, ab, abhi toh bhoat easy hai. What is abstraction in object oriented programming? Isse niche mein jai nahi sakta on this kind of uh, forum, right? What is abstraction, yes? No, that is abstract classes. Declaring the function and? That is abstract class. Abstract class or abstraction different hai. Baba, I can't go to that level, yes. Abstraction? Sab log interview there, hundred percent. Yes, I can. <laughs> got it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Agar behavior ko hide karte to kya wo encapsulation nahi ho sakta hai? If you say like abstraction, if you say hiding behavior, that is encapsulation. Dekha kitna garbar kar diya sabko maine. Yes, abstraction. Complexity, ha. Apna India mein na car, gadi, jhad aur some examples are there. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> that is, I understand that. <laughs> no. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, we don't care about the definition. So, okay. So, what, so abstraction means, you know, show only what is necessary. So, if you think that, like you said, right, actually, they complement each other, okay, frankly. So, must be I can give you a USB for that, okay. So abstraction means, you know, show only what is necessary, okay. So for example, if I say, okay, I have this class, show only what is necessary, okay. Now, uh, think about this situation here and uh, you will come to know. Uh, this is the last pattern I am taking, then I will go for discussion, right. I will not take factory pattern with the time limit. Uh, so here it is bridge pattern. Now think about it, you have an employee class, okay. In this you have some calculate salary method, okay. And then somebody says, oh, we have a manager now and that manager calculation is different. So what you will do? You will inherit from this class. You will go and write some logic here. Ki iska salary aise calculate hoga, right? So you end up writing like this. You will go and you will say here. Now look at this. Huh? Your mind. Your mind is thinking something, and there is something actually wrong. Public class. I'll say okay. This is a general manager of the company, or must be an HR. HR will be sabka like <laughs> employee. And I'll say here. Okay, let's let's make this virtual. Uh, and I'll say okay. Oh, write this with calculate salary. And I'll say okay. Or something, you know, I'll have a logic here. This cannot be a void, it has to be a decimal. Okay. And here I'll say, okay, return, you know, some calculation here, return 8,000 or 80,000 salary, whatever, you know, some, some logic will be there, right? Now think about it, you, you get something like, uh, uh, let's say, more general manager. So what you will do, you will again inherit, you will do like this, right? Is this going right? Is there something that is missing here? See now, look at it. You know, when does a person go from a manager to a general manager or, you know, to anything else, right? Because of the role, not because of the salary. Okay, salary calculation is independent of the role, right? Abstraction encapsulation. This mistake everyone makes, huh? everyone makes. Or baad mein last ko malum padda, either change ke to either sub change ho right? So here what is happening is, you will add a new class when you get a new role. So that means, you know, that the salary calculation should be different. There should be a different class called as salary 
and there should be different class called as hierarchy for managers for this, right? And the salary should be used inside that manager. So here what is happening is you are thinking that the, that you know, that the, 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 the hierarchy and the salary calculation are going together. Are we getting guys this very important statement? You know, here what it should happen is you should actually say here, okay, here it is. You should actually say here that I will only create a new class here when there is a new role not when there is a new salary calculation. So actually you should do is you should actually have a salary class here and then this salary class will have the calculation and he should be used inside that manager and this. Means the you were thinking that the abstraction for that manager etc is same like the salary. No, there are two abstractions. Salary and this. Normally I have seen like tax calculation. Sab usme mix ho jata hai. Tax calculation and that entity they all get mixed. So must be this should be two different so that when he changes, he will not change. And when his role changes, the salary does not change. Getting guys? Okay. So you now look at this. Now this design pattern, it is not about coding. It is about your thought. That you make, and when you make such kind of mistake, right, it does not come, you don't come to know at the project starter. But when you resign, maintenance, then somebody says, add a new uh, salary, bus. He's adding a new hierarchy. So these kind of things you can only come to know when you go in maintenance and uh, you have an issue, right? So that's why, you know, like when you do, object oriented programming, that's what the object oriented programming says, right? This object is different, this object is different. You have to create the classes appropriately, okay? So this is, it's more of a thought process. So very quickly, guys, we have three, four patterns we have talked about. Chalo, now I want from everyone. Abhi mai USB, USB, acha, abhi aapko USB nahi milega. Abhi mai ye question bhi sabko USB dunga, right? So what is an aggregate root? Acha answer, which I have explained, right? In a line, one liner. Koon karega, chalo, yes. Aggregate root. We just covered aggregate root. Yeah, but answer it in English, yes. Yeah, I, will. I will ask the question. Or mic, I can give you the mic. Chalo, yes. Acha, aapko lena lena USB, please. <laughs> and I'll definitely give the USB now. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just correct that. You're right. You know, give him a USB. Parent, uh, more than parent, I'll say root object. Because parent, bhi kya hota hai? you have a child. Uh, child parent thing right this is a root object okay good okay uh, iterate pattern nahi puchunga main okay adapter pattern chalo aur acha english mein hindi mein answer is sir do class hai aisa aisa teda peda hota hai no no not like that like all in and not in odia I like odia i don't know yes yes sir blue shirt interview mein fail ho jayega beta interview yeah implement <laughs> implement classes yeah no problem. Uh, but you are from Mindfire, yes. Yeah, so in, yeah, go ahead. Not to communicate. No, that, that word communicate is wrong. Very good. So when you have two classes whose interfaces are not same, right, and you want to make them compatible, you put an adapter in between and then you make a call, right? Uh, chalo, so, yeah, guys, so any questions on this? Abhi kush ne, do hi price tha. De jada question nahi pujunga mein. Any questions, guys? So we have covered, I'm, I'm leaving factory pattern. What I would suggest is, uh, you can send me a mail, or must be you can send a mail to, do we have the mail here? Nahi na? Must be if you can send me a mail, I can, what I will do is, here it is, guys, just as a future thought process, right? What is the best way to learn design patterns, right? So the best way to learn design patterns is by doing a project actually. So uh, I will, you know, like uh, you guys have, so you can see here, like I will give you these videos, you know, which I have here. Uh, these videos, dikhra wahan pe? Lab one, lab two, lab three, right? So in this, uh, I don't know how much you can see, I'll just zoom it, you know, quickly. These videos, uh, here it is. So one thing which I understood, right? Like, uh, so I've been teaching design patterns for 15 years now. In the first year, I used to teach very silly, like, yeah, aisa raha, wo aisa raha, done. What I understood is that until you don't work on a project, until you don't fail, right, you never understand design patterns, how much ever you try, okay? So what I did is I created a lab here saying, okay, first lab, I create a screen, I need this pattern. Then I say, okay, I do this, I now need this pattern. More natural process. I did not go like Gang of Four, there is no point, right? You take a project and say, let the patterns come in, naturally, right? So I will give you this uh, video DVD, right? Um, you know, uh, so what you can do is, if you can give me a feedback here about my session. Again, like this one, quickly, you know, before I end the session there. Uh, I, want, I want that 
that thing to you know that's that's the doha by kabir you know which says that a lot of time you know i've seen people aisa like bolte rehte aisa suta laga hai like factory pattern ye pattern repository pattern done you know matlab you know it is not important that you read and you just know a lot of thousand patterns and you become an architect as a developer even if you implement five patterns properly your your heart will say yes i am architect because you know today i had done this thing properly right so that is the thing you know uh, i'm sure that you know people who are like everybody can read hindi right so i'm sure that you know that kabir's doha no you cannot so i'll tell you what what it says pothi pad pad jagamua pandit bhayanak hoye means if you read lot of literature like you know jaisa bola na like some people stand who are seniors wo aisa khada rehte aisa factory pattern repository pattern ye pattern now there is a junior yeah sir <laughs> you know so if you read lot of literature with lot of jargons aisa you can carry yourself in the office but you don't know design pattern internally you know very well you are showing off right and the second says that dhai akshar prem ke pade so pandit hoye means what if you implement something okay that's not exactly but i'm just trying to make a technical more technical thing of it if you implement that in your project like one or two lines of code you know you would be more happy so do not try to boast yourself as a architect in india i'll tell you the level of architect has gone down completely to kya hota hai acha pm hai yaar kuch kaam dhanda nahi mil raha hai so they become a technical architect now that is forcing yourself so there are very less people who are really architects who know design patterns properly who use in the project who know uml properly who know estimation properly right so i think that's what you should target okay so um, any questions guys so there is the feedback link you know you what you can do is you can give the feedback about my my session what i've done here and um, uh, and uh, if you if you give the feedback just tell me what is your home address of bhubneshwar i will mail you the dvds that dvd which i have read shown all the patterns you know with the full project this is a 30 40 video एक एक वीडियो क्या आपका आईफोन में डाल के देखते रहो यू नो सो यूल एनी क्वेश्चंस गाइस ऑन दिस फोर फाइव पैटर्न्स आई हैव कवर्ड आई हैव नॉट कवर्ड फैक्ट्री पैटर्न बिकॉज आई वांट टू इंश्योर दैट द अदर यू नो प्रेजेंटर्स आल्सो गेट टाइम एनी क्वेश्चंस यस ओके वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन यस Yes. Yeah, that that's why I put that. <laughs> that is not possible, right? So good question here. That uh, basically, like, how do I come to know that now which pattern to use? Now I'll tell you. That is experience. Okay. So first thing is that you will know architecture pattern what to use. You know that you will use MVC, broader level. You will know MVP or you will know three layer, whatever some broader level architecture you know, right? Now you know as my experience, what happens is I know that he has to use iterator pattern there, because I can I can forecast it. because of the level of experience i know that he has to use a uh, factory over there because there should be decoupling i know that he has to use adapter pattern there is a third party so some of the patterns you can forecast but then lot of patterns the code level pattern the developer at the night wohi baitha hai wahan pe so only he knows now at that moment like you say like if you are on the line of fire right the commander can tell you till go go till here if you something is nearby he has to fire himself right so some of the patterns you cannot so i think like you can predict like 60 70% in your technical document but like that 20 30% is by the developer they have to understand it okay yes any questions no queries sometimes we are forced to use a framework which is a specific design pattern in that case like uh, we won't have any other choice to like make our design yeah that's a good question sometimes kya hota you get a maintenance project usme dal diya factory pattern le you debug f11 it goes in one more in uh, where are we like you know yeah so you say that you know like some of the people they now what happens is you know the person who chose that pattern right or chose that architecture has to give a reason for it okay and when the developers are feeling uneasy about it that's why i'm saying if it is not natural na developer khud bolega kya eda bana raha hai like it's like this is nonsense you know so that that's that's what i'm saying if it is not natural it is a problem okay any questions so thank you very much you can put the feedback out there right and uh, give your home address your phone number i'll mail you the dvds okay thank you